Welcome to the ABI Snapshot, where we spotlight critical findings and the latest research from our global team of analysts. In this snapshot, we're speaking with ABI Research Director Andrew Zignani, who will answer key questions about the Bluetooth SIG's latest 2023 Bluetooth market update. Welcome, Andrew. Well, hi, Deb, and, and thanks for having me. For most of us, Bluetooth is a DNM for wireless connectivity for earbuds or laptops. But the research shows that Bluetooth technology offers so much more. Tell us about it. Well, yeah, Bluetooth has evolved significantly um, over the last two decades. Uh, and that evolution brings a whole new range of use cases and applications that were kind of inconceivable back in the early 2000s when Bluetooth Classic first appeared in, in headsets, in PCs and in vehicles. But it was really the arrival of Bluetooth Low Energy or LE in 2010 that caused a huge expansion in the potential applications for Bluetooth technology as a whole. And in fact, now, you know, total annual Bluetooth device shipments will steadily climb over the next five years with 7.6 billion Bluetooth enabled devices um, shipping annually by 2027. Wow. Is there a primary driver for that growth? Yes, there is. So, you know, Bluetooth Classic and Bluetooth LE radios are now included in, you know, almost all platform devices like smartphones and laptops, um, increasingly in devices like smart televisions and smart home controllers. Uh, and this means they can connect to both the Bluetooth Classic audio devices like headsets and speakers, as well as Bluetooth LE peripheral devices such as, you know, wearables, um, smart home, healthcare devices. And this Bluetooth growth will be primarily driven by these single mode Bluetooth LE devices um, with annual shipments um, growing from around 1.5 billion in 2023 to over 3.2 billion by 2027. Since Bluetooth technology is constantly evolving, what emerging use cases can we anticipate? Well, Bluetooth technologies is not only empowering, you know, um, more devices in already established areas such as headsets and speakers, um, smart home devices, healthcare, gaming, um, and connected consumer products, but it's also expanded into um, you know, new areas and creating a wide range of emerging use cases across both consumer and IoT environments. Uh, this includes things like um, AuraCast Broadcast Audio, which is a new Bluetooth capability, which lets you share your audio, um, unmute the world around you, um, enable new augmented uh, listing solutions by being able to tune in to audio streams in, in public venues via um, active headsets and hearing aids. Um, also, you know, more accurate location capabilities will increase the adoption of Bluetooth um, smartphones that are used as digital keys um, for, for example, unlocking and controlling your car or secure access to the home, office and, and buildings uh, and many other applications as well. What about for more commercial environments? Yes, yeah, so in addition to those, um, you know, Bluetooth's new features better support a, a wider range of, of commercial and IoT applications. For example, um, enhancements such as Bluetooth direction finding can significantly improve the accuracy of Bluetooth within real-time locating systems or RTLS um, to help enable sub-meter level accuracy for tracking assets in, in factories, in warehouses and in hospitals. Um, at the same time, you also have new features that were introduced just recently in the, the Bluetooth 5.4 specification. This will enable um, the creation of a Bluetooth standard for electronic shelf labels. And these are kind of small battery powered e-ink displays that present um, product and pricing information at the shelf edge. And this will help to replace um, paper levels. So we expect you know, billions of devices over time. Um, and again, Bluetooth networked uh, lighting control systems also use Bluetooth mesh, um, and these are deployed in offices, in retail spaces, um, healthcare, the factory floor, um, as well as other commercial facilities to help deliver, you know, a really unique combination of energy savings, as well as better occupancy experiences, uh, and overall more um, efficient building operations. And then finally, we have this kind of whole new ambient IoT um, category, which is also emerging. Uh, this will be enabled by very low cost Bluetooth tags that can track an item's current inventory uh, condition um, and state to help improve things like food and pharma supply chains, um, with also a, a longer term potential that could significantly, you know, dwarf the existing Bluetooth market today, you know, if you think about the number of labels on the market. So these enhancements really show a bright future for Bluetooth technology for the consumer and the enterprise. Absolutely. Uh, you know, much like um, when we look back now at the arrival of, of Bluetooth LE, um, 
it won't be a surprise to me at least um, that when we look back you know 10 years from now we'll, we'll be very much still in awe of the the kind of multitude of use cases that bluetooth technology um, has supported over the next decade thanks so much andrew for a deeper dive into the full 2023 Bluetooth market update, visit abi.link slash BMU.